Yo YouTube, what is up? We are back again with another tips and tricks video for you guys and this time we're going to be tackling conquest for you guys. I had a bunch of questions in my stream about it. Uh, so I thought, you know, I might as well put a, a, a video together for you guys talking about the best way to do it, the fastest way to do it, and everything you can kind of do within doing conquest, doing parallels. There's a ton of stuff this year you can do with it. As always, guys, make sure you guys leave that like button. Please do subscribe as well for all these tips and tricks videos. Man, you guys have been killing them, so I do really appreciate it. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's do it. All right, so if you guys do not know what conquest is, we'll just start out right here. Go to single player modes. We will go to conquest right here. And I should say, the way I'm going to tell you guys how to do it is the way you can do it in any Conquest mode. It does not matter. For this one, we're going to start with the USA Conquest map. It is a big one, and I thankfully finally got it done. It took me took me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. This one takes a long time. Uh, the other ones are a little bit cleaner, a little bit quicker for you guys. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and just go with the USA Conquest map. Just to show you guys, I did finish it. You can't really see. I kind of covered up a little bit. But I did finish it all. Um, all the goals are done. So just to show you guys, I did get it all done. It is finished. Um, but right here, we're just going to go ahead and restart it for right now. One thing I should note before we even get into Conquest is if we go back to our lineup, you guys, at this moment in time, you can use Conquest as a way to parallel players. So right now, what I've done is I've been using this glitchy BR squad that I, that I love so much and that I use a ton. That way, we can be, we can we can parallel all these cards. So if you guys want to, make sure you guys are paralleling, paralleling cards as well because that would be a big thing. Uh, for your team and BR rank seasons events whatever you guys want to do so just a little side note right here make sure you have a squad that you can use in parallel and honestly you can use this to use to, to upgrade your cap as well I haven't touched the cap yet so I don't know much about that but I know I have heard some people that are using that as well to get uh, their cap all right so here is the whole conquest map again we've got Toronto and Boston behind me you can't see them they're up in the right corner but the whole premise of conquest you're trying to capture every stronghold, try and get as many of these little boxes as you can. Um, and the more boxes you get, the more reinforcements you get, which getting reinforcements makes it easy to attack people. And that way you're playing all these games. All the stronghold games should be on rookie. I want you guys to make a note of that right now. Make a note of that. You want every game against a stronghold to be on rookie. You don't want anything above that. You can't you can go on veteran if you want to, but just for, for the sake of, of getting this done and getting it done really easy, we want to go ahead and use rookie. You want to play up every single strong on a rookie. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is, uh, you guys want, like I said, you want to get as many little squares, whatever shapes you want to call those, as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off just going around our whole entire base right here, and then you can press square to kind of kind of zoom through those. All right. So the next phase will be the steel fans phase. So. The only reason why you're going to be doing Steel Fans Phase is because it's part of the goals. So we go into um, the goals. You have Steel Fans Phase. Uh, you got three, you got seven, and you got 15. So we at least have to steal 15 fans. So what I what I strongly suggest doing is you click X, choose whatever team you kind of want to. I usually do the ones because I'm we, we're always going to go west. So if you want to go west, we might as well steal these fans because that means their stronghold is going to be worse. They're, they're not going to have as many fans there, so it'll be easier to play them on rookie. So I usually go for, we'll do a, a, an all-star game against the Rockies, the Mariners, the Giants, the A's, and the Dodgers. That way you get all your 15, you get all your stolen fans right there because every single one of the time you steal a fan, it, it correlates to the, the difficulty that you're playing on. So on rookie, it'll be 1 million, uh, veteran 2, all-star 3, hall of fame 4, and legend 5. So I strongly suggest... Do not play above All-Star. Unless you are a good player, go ahead, do it on Legend. Get three out of the way, and then that way you're done with the Steel Fans phase. That way you can get pretty quickly done with it. I What I did personally, I just did on All-Star. Did five games on All-Star. It's easy to break it up. Nothing too bad. So make sure you guys get at least 50 million fans um, stolen. That way you guys can get done with that mission right there. Be done with that goal. So if you don't need to steal any fans, if you get done with that, then all you can do is press Start, and we'll go skip to the Reinforce phase. So like I was saying, we want to try to get as many of these little boxes as we can. Um, as of right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure, at least this, this is what it was in past years, or every three you get, you get another one. So we want to go ahead and just reinforce right here because we know we're going to go west, right? We know we're going to go west. The next phase will be move fans. So this one, um, if you want to move fans, all your all your little boxes have to be stuck together. So if they're not together, you can't move your fans, you can't move your fans throughout that, that whole section of what you have. Um, so what I use this for is, you know, if I have a whole, whole bunch of fans I'm taking over somewhere, we got like 10 million fans over here, we can go ahead and move them as well to go over to another part just for the sake of 
what we want to do. So we click on it. I mean, say we want to move, you know, 3 million fans right there. It's pretty easy. Nothing too bad right there. But usually I always skip this. There's nothing you need to do. So now we go to the attack phase. Okay. So a couple things to note here. Uh, for some reason, the twins are always kind of a butt and they will come over and try to attack you. So if you want to, you can go ahead and put some of the uh, some of the reinforcements on this side. I don't really mess with that much. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, Kansas City gets a little bit hairy as well, and, and the Rockies sometimes do attack as well. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Make sure you have at least you know some of these some of these you know with two or three if if you, if you want to go from there. But again, what we're gonna do is we are gonna face we're gonna go west. We're gonna keep going west. There we go. And then that way we are already through that. Then back again to the sealed fan phase. Do this five times you know, on All Star. That way you'd be done with it. But again, we're gonna skip over that. We have our reinforced phase again. Uh, so like, see the twins right here. They got they got two fans over here. So that way I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put two right there just for right now. But otherwise we can put the rest of them up here. Um, and again, you can put the fans if you want to. We're not gonna do it for right now. Go ahead and skip that. Then we're just gonna keep moving, keep moving. It's the biggest thing you guys want to keep doing is just keep moving. Skip over that again. Reinforce again. That way we'll put five right there. Skip to the attack phase. Again, we're just trying to get as many of these little boxes as we can right here. Because the more you get, the more fans you have. The more fans you have, the easier it is to attack strongholds. We're going to skip over that, that steel fans phase again. Go to reinforcements. Skip over that one. And we're just going to keep it moving over here. Keep it moving. All right, go ahead and we'll skip over that one. Reinforce again. We'll go ahead and just put them right here. Skip to attack. Let's go right there. Right there. Again, we're just trying to get as many of these hexagons as we can right now. Keep it moving. Skip over that. We got one little, we got one little spot up here that we're going to work with. Looks like Minnesota's kind of messing around a little bit with us right there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll make sure we'll put all of our fans right there as well. Again, we're just gonna attack. Looks like the click down, that's okay. May have put too many fans up here, but that's all right. That's okay. Okay, so. Once we get to this, once we get to this phase right here, we can either start attacking the Rockies if you want to, or we can go ahead and take over the Mariners, the Giants, or the A's. Um, what I did and what I've done in the past is I go ahead and just take over the Rockies, um, get them out of the way so that way they kind of don't really bother you anymore. Because if you take away the Stronghold, they really don't attack you anymore. Um, so right here, we're going to go ahead and put 12. 12 of our reinforcements right there. We can see right here. So we have three fans right here. We're going to go ahead and move two of them back over here. And now we can attack. So that, that way we'll just go right here. We'll attack the Rockies. And on these little attack phases. So I should explain these as well. The attack phases. You do not have to play the attack phases. The only time you have to play is when you go against the, the stronghold. So right here, if we go against the stronghold, it's going to be on all-star. We do not want to play an all-star. Do not worry about that. We're going to go ahead and just skip our turn. Skip the steel fans phase. All right, we're going to put reinforcements again right here. Keep those guys over there. And then now if we play them, it'll be on veteran. So, you know, veteran's not too bad. Probably the Rockies is like the only one that may be able to play on veteran. All the other ones, though, we can go ahead and we can play on rookie. Um, so you can go ahead, play that game. Should be pretty easy. Nothing too bad. Uh, when you're in the game as well, make sure you guys are paralleling your cards. Again, like I said, parallel the cards. So... You know, you can score a lot of runs if you want to, but try to keep a nice little balance between the two because you don't want to be staying in the game scoring 20 runs while you're trying to finish this map as well. You know, find that nice little even, even kill, um, you know, level you want to be at and, and kind of work your way from there. Um, but again, this is a great way to parallel cards outside of playing online. You know, we're, you're going to be in Conquest for a while. Um, I, I, should, I should say, I think this full map probably took me four to five hours, probably around that range, so... It does take a little bit. Make sure you guys are taking breaks. Do not just sit here and grind this out in one in one sitting because you will regret everything. You do not want to do that. It'll, it'll take you way too long. Um, so again, we can attack the Rockies. 
be done with them stronghold should be complete and then you can go ahead and clean out you know the, the middle of this area um they might attack you a little bit they probably shouldn't but we can go ahead and clean out the area get all these and then we'll have a, a nice little cluster to start out with which is exactly what you want that is perfect once you get rid of the rockies what we're going to be doing is we're going to go up to here we're going to take over the mariners go with the giants and then go with the a's that way you kind of get the nl west kind of our the nl al west kind of taken care of over here we're going to go ahead and rock our way down to the dodgers we got the Padres. It looks like the Padres already took over the, the Angels. Again, it does not matter if they take over a stronghold. It will still count as that stronghold who the original team was. So, again, if there are strongholds that are taken over other teams, don't worry about it. It'll still count the same. Um, then I went ahead and we went. I went to the Diamondbacks. Went ahead and took care of the Rangers. The Astros went to the Cardinals. Uh, Kansas City. The Cubs. The Twins. Brewers. Went down to the Tigers, the White Sox. Went down to the Reds, the Braves. Went to Tampa Bay, the Marlins. Went ahead over to the Nationals, the Orioles, uh, the, the, the Pirates, the Indians, Phillies, Mets, Yankees, Toronto, and then again with the Red Sox. Again, you guys can't really see that. It's just behind me, but you guys will see the map when you get into it. So that's kind of the, that's kind of the way that I took it. Um, there are a lot of different ways to do it. I mean, you can... You can kind of do whatever you want to but the the whole the whole thing that you want to do is just please make sure please make sure you're playing these games on rookie because it'll be easy you'll be able, able to parallel cards so just try to get as many fans into one spot and just keep attacking just keep attacking get all the space you can and then go ahead and attack that stronghold uh there's there's kind of two ways you can do it you can continually attack strongholds if you want to or if you want to you can just surround all these strongholds with all your cards and then play all the games at the end um it's kind of the way however you want to do it i personally like to break it up a little bit um so i just attack them each at a time um that way you know you're you're doing stuff in between you're not just sitting there playing the game against the computer for the entire time so that's kind of what i do on my own uh, but again you guys make sure you guys are taking care of these goals uh we're gonna make sure you take those steel fans face i think everything else is organically i don't think there's really anything else that you can repeat these missions as well so that's why they're not showing us being done um i don't think there's anything else that actually will um we'll have to do anything extra with so just make sure you guys are stealing those fans that way you guys get done with that should be pretty easy shouldn't be too bad at all play them on all-star if you can even if you guys don't play them lower you can play on lower difficulties as well too you can do it on, on better rookie if you want to it'll just take a little bit longer so kind of again try to find that that even playing surface that way you can get, get done with it you don't have to be in it for too long at all um, all right so the overall reward for completing this map is this rookie hour pools card you know it's got pretty nice attributes especially for the beginning of the game you can definitely plug him in there i will i will say his his primary position is left field so just keep that in mind he can still play first third and right field but make sure you know they do have that penalty for going to a different position um first base wouldn't really matter but he does have some nice attributes so you know if you want to use him go ahead he's pretty good in the beginning of the game you know once we get past a couple weeks then you know probably not as usable but still i mean he's still a very usable card in this game now i should also mention that you do have all these uh all these strongholds and you do get conquest prospect packs so you get a, a prospect pack from the al east al central uh al west nl east nl central and nl west so you can make a nice nice killing of subs off that as well um i assume I, what i've been doing i've just been holding on to them because they will be part of some different you know some collection at some point in the year so i've been holding on to them but this is something you can keep doing if you want to it's pretty easy nothing too bad as well so you will get five packs from that as well so keep that in mind too all right that should pretty much do it for conquest hopefully this video helped you guys out hopefully it makes it a little bit easier it makes more sense to you guys i know it's a little bit confusing in the beginning but honestly once you get the hang of it it's super easy um, all these Congress maps usually have some nice stubs, have nice XP, and also have some packs from it as well. So, I've seen a lot of people be pulling, pulling a lot of diamonds from these packs. So, make sure you guys are doing this as well. If you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like. Please do subscribe as well. Um, I'll be keep doing these videos for you guys. You guys do love the tips videos. So, I'll keep them coming for you guys. And I appreciate your guys' support. Peace out.